CapCut updated its AI video maker and it is freaking wild. So if you want to create videos fast or maybe you don't want to appear on camera and you want to create faceless videos, this is your jam. I'm going to show you how to do this with CapCut desktop that is different than CapCut online and CapCut mobile. So make sure you have the desktop version downloaded. I dropped you a link down below. And when you use that link, you can get CapCut Pro for free for seven days. And by the way, the CapCut AI video maker is totally free. So you can bust out a bunch of videos for free really easily and really fast. First, I'm going to show you a few seconds of what I created using CapCut's AI video maker. And I did it super quickly. Then I'll show you how to do it. The three worst things about dating apps that nobody talks about. Number one, the algorithm only pushes the most attractive people to the top. So if you're not a 10, you're basically invisible. Now that you've got CapCut Desktop downloaded, you want to open it. And when you do, you'll get a screen that looks something like this. Up here on the top right, you have AI Video Maker. You simply click on that guy. I'm so excited. I haven't been on YouTube in a minute, so this is fun. And you get this screen here. We can create a new project, which is what we're going to do, but we have other options. We can make an instant AI video. We can brainstorm with AI to get ideas. We can make an avatar video where we have a talking head for us and we can match media to our script in one click. So if we've uploaded a script and media, it'll figure it out for us. We also have these AI templates to make shorts or reels or TikTok videos that make things really easily. Type in a few words and bam, it does everything for you. We'll do a quick one at the end. And then down here, we have some of the projects that, that I've been working on. But what we're going to do is just click on new project. Now, the first thing you need is a script. You can copy and paste a script right here. And notice that this interface is really simple. They want to make it simple so you don't have to think too much to do it. It's super easy. Or we can create a script using AI. So if we hit create one with AI, we get this window opening here. We want a topic. So let's give it a topic. And I've saved one over here. I'm going to copy and paste so you don't have to watch me type. Then we want to add a few points. We want to make sure it hits. I've got a few right here. I'm just going to add. Bam. Then we select our duration. I want it to be a one minute. I'm going to make a quick one minute video. We can mimic a writing style. So if you've made a bunch of videos, you can just copy and paste those scripts into there so they know exactly how you speak. I'm not going to do that in this case. Then you want to add more requirements, what you want the video to feel like, the feel, the vibe, things you want it to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, let's make an engaging and controversial hook in the first three seconds. When making videos, the hook is everything. You got to suck people in. Then get right to the point with each of the worst things, make it fun and edgy and end with an engaging question. Then we just hit create and wait a few seconds and it'll bust out an entire script for us. We can look at the script and modify it if we want. We can delete, copy, whatever. We have it rewrite it, but I like what it did here. So next we go to scenes and in scenes we can choose the voiceover. For the voiceover, we can have an avatar speaking it. We have a bunch, like a hundred different people that can speak this for us, or we could just use an actual voice. Let's listen to a couple of the voices they have. We got the excited commentator. Welcome to creating. Welcome to Welcome. So some of those voices are okay, but there's one voice that everybody uses all over social media that immediately adds credibility. And people have wondered, where do you find this voice that everybody recognizes? Maybe you want to use this voice. Now you can make any of these voices a favorite by clicking on this little thing right here, add to favorites. So I've got my favorites right here. Let's see if you recognize this voice. Welcome to creating voiceovers. You know that voice, right? This is Adam in CapCut. You want to make that? This is where you go. And what I'm going to do now is select him. I know he's selected because I've got the outline around him. Notice that when I just play a voice. Welcome to creating voiceovers. It didn't select her. To select it, you just click in the middle and you get that blue outline. Then I hit apply to all scenes and it will auto split the script. It will take each of these sections and turn them into digestible bites for the voice actor. So I'll just hit apply to all scenes. It's going to split the script up a little bit and then add Adam's voice to all of them. And because these were all pretty short sentences and paragraphs, it's only breaking it up a little bit, but then that's going to allow us to have a different image for each of these sections or a different video. And within a few seconds, we've got it. Let's, let's see how it looks so far. Three. Worst things about dating apps that nobody talks about. Not bad. That's the guy. That's our guy, Adam. Now we need to add some media to it. So I click on media here. Got to pay attention because when I was first learning this, I'm like, where do you add the media? You just click on media right here. And we have three options for media. We can generate AI media. CapCut will generate an original AI image and move it around the screen for you, which is kind of great for original content. It can match your media. If you have media that you've uploaded to CapCut, it's in the cloud or you can upload it here. I'll show where to do that in a second and you can use your media or it can match stock media. CapCut has a massive stock library with images for about everything, video for about everything. So we just click on match right here and then CapCut's going to look at each of these sentences 
and find the relevant words and create media that matches. It's going to pull from its stock library to create media. And within a few seconds, just me talking, it pulled all kinds of stuff. Let's see how it did. Three, worst things about dating apps that nobody talks about. Number one, the algorithm only pushes the most attractive people to the top. So if you're not a 10, you're basically invisible. That's not bad, but these first two images are cartoony. I wanted like real images. So to replace them, I just click right here and hit replace and it pulls up all of these options. Now I can use my own media. This is stuff I've uploaded. If I want to use something specifically, I can click on media and go to my hard drive and I can upload some video here if I want to. I can look at AI media hit generate and we have different styles of AI media that it can create and it's going to create a still image again and move it around the screen. I've got all these different styles, but what I really want is to use some stock media and I want something that shows dating. So I'll just say couple dating. It pulls up these images of couples on dates, not this kind of date. And let's look through here like, ah, oh, that looks, this one looks pretty good right there. I'll click on that guy. It's highlighted, it's got the uh, blue box around it. I just click done and it will immediately allow me to trim it and choose the section that I want. It's kind of got some good motion here. I want that section and I just click done. And now that is my opening shot. And then for the second shot, the most attractive people to the top. So I'm gonna, you know, I didn't like that thing either. So I'm just gonna replace it, go to stock media and say attractive people. And we can scroll down and find something we like. How about that one? We click done. Now, before I show you what that looks like so far, we see that Adam was kind of saying three, Worst things that nobody talks about because he thought this was a list and that was item number three on the list. It's not. So I'm just going to say the three and that'll hopefully help Adam say it more correctly and I'll refresh it so it knows to update the voiceover. See, it's updating the voiceover. Might take a second. Now that we've updated the voiceover, let's see if Adam gets it right. And I'm going to show you a problem with this clip right here and how to fix it. And the reason I'm going to do that is because this might happen to you and you'll think it's screwing up. It's not screwing up. You just weren't paying attention. So watch this. The three worst things about dating apps that nobody talks about. Adam got that right. Number one, the algorithm only pushes them. What? What happened to the video there? Oh no, it's a problem. Here's the issue and this is going to help you. Notice that this took Adam five seconds to say, but this clip right here we can see is only two seconds long. So we need to replace it. I'm going to click on replace, go back to stock media, see if we've got a clip that's, I think it's actually 5.6 seconds long. Let's type group of attractive women. How about that? And if we scroll down, we see, oh, here's a group of attractive women. We'll grab that one. We see that it's 22 seconds long, so it's probably gonna work. I'm gonna click done. And then we can select the section that we want here. They're super happy that uh, they made the cut in this video. I'm gonna hit done. It adds it. And now let's go ahead and go back to the beginning and make sure this plays correctly. Number one. The algorithm only pushes the most attractive people to the top. Great, so far so good, right? Next, we're going to click on elements. This is done, we could export it like this and be done, but we've got elements and elements means the captions. Now these captions that included are super boring. We've got more interesting ones here, like we got like a whole bunch of them. Most of them are free, some are pro. If you see a little diamond, it means it's pro, but there's a bunch of free ones here. I kinda like ones with emojis sometimes. I think one of these has emojis somewhere. Let's find, there we go, let's click on this guy, see what it looks like, and that's all you have to do. Let's rewind and see what it does. The three worst things about dating apps that nobody talks about. Yeah, that's great, love it. So literally within like two seconds, you can have beautiful captions done. Next, we want to add music. And it's got a huge library from, you know, CapCut, TikTok, whatever that's royalty free, you could use this stuff. So we can just click on one of these recommended tracks. That's not bad. I've actually heard that song before, except notice something 31 seconds. Our video is 42 seconds. It won't be long enough. It's got to look at little details like that. And I could say I want something that's uh, romantic. And let's see what romantic tracks come up. That's that's fine. That's fun. So I'm just going to click on this plus sign here and let's see what this looks like with that. The three worst things about dating apps that nobody talks about. Bam! Love it. And I can click here and I can adjust the volume. I can raise it or lower it, but it kind of knew where to put it. One thing I did not mention earlier is that you can adjust the aspect ratio. You just click on this guy and I can make it 16 by 9, which is, you know, wider screen for YouTube or 9 by 16 for Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts or TikTok. And we obviously did the horizontal 16 by 9 thing and and it looks great. And now we're basically done. We can just hit export it and it's all over. Or we can tweak it. If you want to modify it even more, you can open CapCut by hitting edit more. 
and it will load the project into CapCut. And then bam, we have the, the whole thing right here, which we can tweak endlessly if we want to. Speaking of CapCut, and before I show you how to use those templates, did you know that I have a course called Edit with Trev and Master CapCut, where I teach beginners how to edit using CapCut. So if you're a beginner, this is definitely for you. I've got you covered. Version one definitely applies to everything you see in this interface right now. We'll teach you to edit. It's all the basics, plus a whole bunch of the other stuff. But CapCut is continually evolving. They're moving things around a little bit. They're changing things. They're adding new features, lots of AI features in version two. We'll cover that stuff. If you buy version one today, because you haven't bought it yet, you get it for 49 bucks instead of 97 bucks. That's like half off. Plus, you get the upgrade to version two for free. So you're getting version one and version two. And also version two is gonna be 129 bucks. It's gonna be cheaper. So this is a ridiculous deal that's available for now at the time you're watching this video. But if you're one of the hundreds of people that bought version one of my course, you get version two for free. One day you'll log in and it'll just be, oh, we got new stuff. And that's probably six or eight weeks out from today. Maybe by the time you see this version will be up. If you wanna buy the course, go to mastercapcut.com or click on the link in the description and type in the coupon code, heck yes. Heck yes is the coupon code that's gonna get you version one and version two of Master CapCut for only 49 bucks. So I would jump on that like right now. Now let me show you how to use templates. Back in this window, I just click on this back arrow. So it takes me back a bit and I can see simplify creation with AI templates. So let's go to educational and here's another hack. One of the easiest ways to grow with educational content is to create listicles. Top five, top 10, top 20 ways of whatever. So we have any listicle stuff down here. Oh, look at this. Top five travel destinations. They already have a template for us. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up this and here's the prompt that it has, top five travel destinations you must know. How about we say top five travel destinations that no one visits. And you could type in as much or little as you want here and it'll do the, it'll the whole video for you. So if you wanna make a listicle channel, you just, just do this, you hit create, and it's gonna create the voice, it's gonna select the voice, it's gonna write the script, and it's create the video and image content to go with it, and then you can tweak it if you want. It's gotta be patient and wait a second. I mean, for me to do something like that from scratch and shoot it and film it, even if it's a short, it could take hours and hours and hours, but in a few minutes with one sentence, you can have a ridiculous video. Bam, in under three minutes, we get this. We'll just look at a couple seconds. Here are the top five places that no one visits. Number five is Rovaniemi, Finland. It's the capital of Lapland, and it's known as the birthplace of Santa Claus. What? That's pretty awesome. Original images, voiceover from YTB, whatever. We could change the voice, we could change the images, but this is insanely good. You know what's even better than this? AI video generators that create full-on videos from scratch. It can be people talking, it can be everything from scratch. It's insane. You wanna learn how to do that? You wanna click on this video right up there. 